Hello and welcome everyone to another episode of Advanced WordPress Plugin Development. In the previous video, we learned about how to install and set up Cypress, which is used for end-to-end -end testing. And in this video, we're going to write our own test, which, which will test the login functionality in WordPress. So it's going to automatically take the user to the login page, fill up the form and take it to the dashboard. So we are going to test this functionality, see if this is working okay. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin. So now that we have added that configuration, uh, let's go ahead and create a spec. So, so there are several ways to do that. Uh, of course, if you click on that, you can click on focus, it'll bring you back. If you want to add a new spec, you can either click here or you can go to E2E and add the test directly in the root or you know inside of this folder or create your own folder. Basically, just add the test inside of E2E. But I'll do that from here just to show you how that works. So click on new spec. Uh, it's asking that you want to use uh, some scaffold example specs or create a new one. I'll, I'll create a new one and I'm going to call it admin login dot cy dot js. So your files need to have an extension of dot cy dot js. Okay. And I'll click on the create spec. And for now, we'll just added uh, just a, a default describe in it over here. So you can click on OK, run the spec. So currently it'll just uh, run whatever is added there. Okay. Now we'll close the Cypress config.js. We'll go to our admin login cy.js and we'll start writing our test. So whenever we want to write our own test, we need to write describe. We need to put the title of the test and then second parameter will be the function. And that function will have um, it and it does something. So whatever it does, you put that there and inside of the next parameter uh, you put whatever it's supposed to do okay so in our case we want to basically open the login page and then fill up the form for login for WordPress and then take the user to the login page it should go to the uh, login page you need to test whether the user has reached the dashboard or not after login was it successful okay so let's do that so I've already written that so I'm going to go ahead and remove this and just say describe and then we can say run login and second parameter that and inside of that we say before each which means before the test run we have before each function available so these are the functions already available and provided to you by cypress uh, to run test and uh, more information about this is available on the cypress stack documentation so if you go over here you go to the docs you have all of the information mentioned here so you can check it out okay so before each and then inside of that you'll have a function okay and inside of that what you can do is so inside of cy you have different methods available so we want to visit a particular url so what url you want to visit um, because you added the root url inside of base url every time you use cy.visit it will automatically pick up this root URL and then you can all, always add a slug so from that root if I want to go to let's say login page okay so I can uh, which is like slash WP login dot PHP all I have to do is just use that here and that's it so it's going to automatically pick up the root URL whatever you've set here and it's going to suffix whatever you uh, you have put whatever slug you have put in the url so we're going to visit that url and the next thing we'll do is we'll wait for a second so allow it to load wait 1000 millisecond which is one second okay and then we'll say cy.get user login so on that page if you go to the login page uh, you'll notice that uh, inside of here you will have an id called user login let me show that to you so you see that input element, right? So you're trying to grab hold of that particular element. So we're going to do that. And then we'll type using type method and cypress.env. So cypress.env is going to give us the access to uh, whatever we place inside of the env. So we have the access to WP user, we have access to WP password. So that's what we're going to access. We'll say cypress.env uh, and then access the WP user, which is this guy right here. So it's going to you know use that value and uh, so what's going to do is going to go to that element get this element grab hold of this and it's going to type whatever the value of the wp user is which is root okay 
Similarly, it's going to do the same for the um, password also. There we go. So let's do that for password. It's going to type the password and then it's going to submit that. So notice that the password input ID is user pass, this one right here. This one right here. That's why we're trying to grab hold that hold of that using the password. Okay. So think of that like query selector, how you use that query selector in JavaScript. Similarly, you can use get to get hold of that element. Okay, and then we're going to uh, get the WP submit button, which is this guy right here. You can see the ID is WP submit and then click on it. So it'll automatically fill these guys and then click on it. So, so that will help us log in and then take us to the dashboard page. Okay, so you can see the redirect to is there. So it's going to take us to that page. Cool. And then uh, we're going to run our actual test. So I'm going to copy this and paste it here. Okay, you can use the arrow function also like that. And then you can say should take us to admin page. Okay, so we'll wait for two seconds. So we can actually wait because sometimes it may take time to load the admin page. You can wait for one second or two seconds depending on what you expect, you know, how fast is your server. But I'm just doing this uh, two seconds for now. And then this should take us to uh, the URL should be equal to this. Okay, so that should be equal to the URL. And now if I go over here, focus, you can see, congratulations. It just logged in and its assertion is true. Amazing. Congratulations. You just written a test and that's working all fine. So here we are running this particular test, uh, which is admin hyphen uh, cy.js, which is this one, right? And then inside of that, you're saying before each, which is this one, visit wp-login.php. That's what's happening here. So if we click on it, you can see you can also pin and you can uh, kind of uh, do an inspect element here and also see what's all is happening. Okay, if you want to print something here, if you console it, you'll be able to see that in the console over here. So you can debug stuff here also. Okay, uh, then you wait for one second. So you click on that, wait for one second, and then you get the user login. So notice if you click on that, that gets highlighted. So you can go in step by step, and then you type in there. So you this type method is typing there, and then we get the password, and then you type it there. So you can see that, you know, it's all typing before, after, all of these functionalities are available. You can dig deep into it, okay? Then you get, uh, the WP submit button, you click on it, so now it gets clicked on it, it gets highlighted, right? You can see you can highlight stuff here. And then submit the form, page is loaded, new URL is this one. Now you wait for two seconds, that's your admin Ajax call that goes uh, once it's submitted. You can see that that's what's happen happening in WordPress. Then the URL, we are expecting the URL to be equal to, because we wrote equal, right to this that's why we have uh, that assertion so assertion is actually your test and uh, and that's tr true that actually went to that so assertion is true over here okay if you want to rerun it you can just click on this guy right here you can see how many assertions were there how many got failed all of that information generally happens there you click on refresh and you can see that it's filling up stuff and it's running your test waiting for two seconds yeah if you make a mistake Let's say now if I say W hyphen admin, you save it automatically is going to rerun the test and this time it's going to fail. See assertion, it's wrong. So now you can see there's an assertion error. There is the problem. Uh, it's not really matching. Okay, you can print it to the console. You can stack trace it. What's happening there? You can print it to the console also. So, you know, you can see that you clicked on print console. It printed all of that information there, right? So super useful and this is really really useful to uh, do an end-to-end -end testing uh, for your project for your client uh, this is just a login test you could test the whole form submission you can test uh, you know a checkout functionality on an e-commerce site uh, you can check if uh, you know your slider is working your carousel is working there's just so many things you can do basically just make the user traverse through 
uh, you know, those links and, you know, follow that journey that you expect them to do and see if everything is working as expected. Because sometimes you push new codes and at that point, um, the test is going to fail in case if you mess it up. So I hope this was useful. And if you, if you did like the video, please give a thumbs up. So if you like the video, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. Please follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed. And do start my repository to support my work like all these 28 people have. And follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is Quiritech. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.